I welcome all of you to this time and place as Zach and Michelle express their love for each other and uh, their desire to be husband and wife. Sometimes you get something good and you don't know why. The past event in the story of Zach and Michelle was that Sometimes online contact that led to that personal greeting one day uh, and a growing love relationship. Uh, the present chapter in the story is today. Uh, the ceremony where Zach and Michelle will commit to each other in marriage by the exchange of their wedding vow. As the bride, you're assuming a very significant role. That's the role of the church or God's people. So what a marriage is really meant to be is a picture of God and his love for his people. A covenantal love that demonstrates the mutual commitment to the most amazing of all human relationships possible. So much waiting before us we've yet to find. But ultimately, the wedding is not about the dress, it's not about the tux, it's not about the great music, it's not about the flowers, it's not about the bridal party, it's not even about the bride or the groom. But it's about the covenant exchange and the God who oversees it. scriptures from Proverbs 16 verse 3 which says commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed the second is like it but it comes from Psalm 37 verse 5 which says commit your way to the Lord trust in him and he will do this he will make your righteousness shine like the dawn the justice of your cause like the noonday sun Michelle, take you, Zach. I, Michelle, take you, Zach. To be my husband. To be my husband. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family and friends. Our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. Isaac, we take you, Michelle. Isaac, take you, Michelle. To be my wife. To be my wife. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family and friends. Our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. of Herbie the Love Bug who says life is a ride, I say enjoy the ride uh, with a brand new brake system, right? Do nothing less than take the adventure together. Climb the hills that lead to the peaks of great joy. Walk through the valleys that maybe challenge your commitments but deepen your faith. And never apply the brakes to your growing love for each other and your love for God. 
May your roots grow deep into the soil of God's love so your lives and your marriage will bear the fruit of every blessing uh, that God has prepared for you. Zach, you may now kiss your bride. I'm blessed to have had Michelle as my best friend for about 35 years. Many of my favorite memories with Michelle involve music from oldies like I Think We're Alone Now, to which we have a choreographed dance, which we have done recently. Uh, but not long into the year, though, the character traits of uh, loyal, reliable, dependable, trustworthy start to take shape. And I'm not just talking about the Ford F-150. I'm talking about this guy right here. The guy who's always willing to have a good time and always there when you need him. And when you see a person like who Zach is, you hope that you find someone just like that. Enter Michelle. Zach, you're lucky because when you said check yes or no, she checked yes. And you got the ace in the hole. Now, that's all I have to say as the cowboy rides away. Remember that words are powerful, and three certain words can build you up individually and strengthen you as a couple. Of course, I'm talking about I'm cooking dinner. I'm just kidding. It's I love you. So remember to make sure you say it to each other each day, and then when you guys grow all together and you look back on your lives, you can say, yeah, we had our ups and downs, but damn, what a ride it was.